now it's time to do a bonus test. This is going to be two uh, 8210s uh, fixed together. I doubt it's going to be easy to breathe through, but it should give me great filtration results. If nothing else, just because four headbands is going to be a lot tighter than just two. Um, so <laughs> we could probably get the same results by just putting four headbands on, on one mask. But uh, we'll see if the extra breathing resistance negates that advantage of the extra headbands. I have no idea how I'm going to get this on. Well, as you can probably guess by looking, this is really tight on my face. So it should probably test well, but there's no way I could wear this for a work shift. This is not comfortable. Um, I don't care if it tests well, I'm not doing it. But I do want to know how it tests. 177. Uh, so you can double mask with 8210s and get better fit than I get with them alone. But I would not recommend it unless you've got a much smaller nose than I've got. Because my nose, I can't breathe through it. Uh, it's hard to breathe through these double masks. So it works, but not a good idea. Now, um, before we go on, I'm going to test this 177 with uncomfortable fit and pinched nose to this that magical mask that fits great on me, the 3M Aura. And we'll see how two masks compare to one good mask. Okay, this is the 3M Aura. It usually fits really well on me. Easy to breathe through, comfortable. I find the headbands to be nice and comfortable. Uh, not everyone agrees, but for me, they're great. Uh, so the score to beat is 177. Uh, I want to see if this lightweight, easy to breathe through mask can be a doubled set of 8210 3M respirators. 644. Um, so I think that proves that one good mask that fits you well is way better than uh, two mediocre masks or one okay mask and a mediocre mask on top of it to try to tighten it. Wear the best mask you can get that fits you well. Um, I recommend fit testing to everybody. You may have a vendor in your area who will provide this kind of uh, quantitative fit testing where they use a machine to test the particles in the air. Uh, it makes a difference. Uh, without this, I wouldn't know just how well this fits and how much better it is than doing stuff like doubling your masks or putting surgicals over your 3M masks. These are just not nearly as good, and I wouldn't know that with regular fit testing because this would pass uh, a qualitative fit test because they're not as precise or accurate. So see if you can get particle count fit testing so that you can find out which masks fit you best.